right, let's figure it out. We're back here with Tales of Symphonia, which is taking a strange amount of time to load. There it is. We were just at uh, lag entering Hema, and there's some kind of commotion going on that we figured we should probably investigate. That seemed like a wise thing to do. I hope it's Clara and we can find it. But also Pietro is the other thing that we have to do here. Yes, I was trying to remember what his name was. I was like, Peter? Hopefully it's Clara so we can get that key, but also we have to find a way to save Pietro around now. Wait, unless, I hope Pietro didn't turn into one. Lloyd, we have to save Pietro. Yeah, you're right, we promise. <laughs> Let's find Boltzmann's healing technique in the Tower of Mana. Oh, right, we have to go to the Tower of Mana first. Okay, but there's something going on in front of the, the this, right? They, didn't they just say? Is it Clara, maybe? Because that would be good timing. Yes, it is, okay. All right, it's weakening. Finish it off. Stop! Don't interfere, this is our prey. Clara, stop. We want to save you, please. Calm down. I don't think they can understand English, can it? Ah! All right, well. We could have done something more to stop it, I deem, but we didn't. Damn it! After that monster! Ah, those are the adventurers who were in that thing before. Took <laughs> that one with the sword, hunching over carry it. Colette, Professor, are you all right? What did you just find there, Genus? Yes. Clara, drop this. Is it the key? This is the key to the Tower of Mana. I see. Clara was the one that took the key to the tower. Well, we knew that. <laughs> we were told that as much. I hope she's safe. Yeah, let's go to the Tower of Mon and get Boltzmann's healing technique for Clara and for Pietro. Why don't we stop the adventurers first? Question mark? Who just ran after that thing? Well, I guess because it's hard to kill. Damn near impossible. And hard to catch as well. They went this way, though, right? I just want to make sure I'm not missing any. <laughs> They're not, like, cornered Clara up here. And I could stop it if I investigate. Uh, nope, they are gone, gone. They are all the way out. They are nowhere to be found. Okay, then I guess the best thing for them is to go to the Tower of Mana right now. So it looks like that's where we're headed right now. Are you one of them fast traveling people? Yeah, thank you. Oh, there's a chest over here on this little peninsula thing. I guess you, you can't see them when you're on uh, noise. I didn't know that. Ooh, a level two X gem. Ooh, okay. Uh, Sheena, you probably don't have any, do you? Sharp Eye, what does that do? Increases accuracy and physical attack damage uh, on enemies low evasion. Oh, cool. Oh, we've also got a level one one. Let's give her a level two, sure. And let's give her mm, dash. Always good to have people with dash. She could also use an X gem level one though. Let's give her, uh, I guess strong because her attack's been pretty good so far. May as well make it a little better. Do, 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 do. Ah! Wasn't expecting that one, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, got a new spell. Ice Tornado? Holy crap, Genus. <laughs> That's so badass. He's doing it again. It's just so cool, he can't help himself. Nice. Let's have some food, Sheena. A sandwich, delicious. Thanks for making sandwiches for everyone. Man, you gotta, I guess it just gets harder and harder the more people you get to make enough sandwiches. Either that or we were just absolutely pigging out before. All right. Let's get our way into this thing, shall we? It feels so good to finally get back into this game and then I like remember how to play the character. <laughs> like I, I, I got, I, like all that uh, Colette stuff I was just doing was muscle memory after seeing it. Whoosh. Badass. I didn't even take the look at the key, what it looked like. Oh, this is cool. I'm with Rain on this one. This is awesome. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of books. Uh, just think of all the knowledge contained within those books. This is a, the, the, this is an Oracle Stone, yes. Hey, it's an Oracle Stone. It's just as written in the Book of Regeneration. This is a seal! Yes, I, I mean, it would be really bad if it wasn't, because then we wouldn't know where the other one was. Colette, if you would, please. Yes, Professor. What do I do again? <laughs> it's just like, headbutts it. Well, for a second, everyone was like, it's not gonna work. It didn't open. No, look at that magic circle. Uh-oh, this looks a little like one of those things where one of those bosses would be. Marvelous! This apparatus has awoken due to the Oracle, Oracle Stone. So we just need to do something with that apparatus. So it would seem. Hmm. She's gonna figure out it immediately. This looks interesting. Lloyd, stand on that blue circle. What? Uh, okay. Genius, you go to that one. Okay. I don't see where you're going with this, Rain. This seems like a good recipe for getting us all killed. Ah, uh, okay, it opened the door. Oh! Oh! Wow! Wow! <laughs> it opened, Professor! Huh? Uh, what the... It seems as though it won't open without three people in these circles. We're gonna have to split up again, is what you're saying. Which means that three of us must remain here. It's dangerous, but we have little choice. Yes, we wouldn't want the door to be closed when we come back out. Then Lloyd, choose three people other than Colette to remain here. Me? Well, okay. Does Rain have a split personality? I'm sorry. She's a little strange, but she's a good person at heart. 
<laughs> Ouch. Colette, are you alright? Thanks for worrying about me, but I'm fine. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm moving now. Okay, I was like, this is a strangely long cutscene. Cool. Party of three, so so Colette's gotta go. I guess with her we would want he one healer, so maybe we, br we do Colette... Rain and then ooh, one of the sword people probably Colette Rain and then maybe Kratos and so then maybe Lloyd Genus and uh, 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 Sheena can stay here. You need to go with me and one other person, remember? Oh, she he has to go with her. Never mind. I lied. Uh, okay, then Rain, I guess. The Tower of Mana. Hmm? I would love to study it. Take Rain along. Yes, better. Yes, you've made the correct choice, Lloyd. So Kratos. Uh, Genus and Ray, uh, Sheena, you're standing on the circles. Hopefully nothing attacks you while you're down here. It opened! Okay, those staying behind, wait here. <laughs> you know, what staying behind means. <laughs> there's another door here too, and I didn't really look around the rest of the room, but I guess there's other stuff here. Alrighty! Here we go! Oh wow, is it just a huge staircase up? Oh, another one of these dang skeleton things. Actually, I guess we better check out what's over here to see what, what kind of threats we're gonna face here. Maybe get a few more logs this in our book. Spectre and Grim Reaper? The Grim Reaper? I don't wanna fight the Grim Reaper! You fight the Grim Reaper! I hope we can actually- okay, we can actually interact with him, that's good. Ah! Stop that, Spectre! So that's your weakness. <laughs> I didn't- oh, light, I guess, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, damage guard! Yeah, I actually did it right the one time! Hee <laughs> hee! Oh man, I only hit you with one hit of the thing. Nice shot with Photon. 999 damage! Man, light was really effective. Look at us go, Lloyd. Pretty damn good. Pretty diggity damn. Oh, black quartz, isn't that? Oh no, it's this stuff. I thought it was one of the the materials that you could like one of these things that sold for a lot. Let's get someone else making food. The only one with uh, ones we can still level up is Lloyd's risotto. So let's get making that. Yum. Ooh, very good. And we got plenty of rice and cheese for it. Let's get ah. Oh, this thing is so strange. I know it's just like the one we've seen before all the time, Not but oh man, a living sword. Creative name, but even more creative design. Holy crap, that thing looks cool. Too bad I'm gonna rip it to pieces with my lightning ball! The power ball, which is what it's actually called. <laughs> Rain after discovering that light hurts uh, ghosts for the millionth time. Oh my god! Oh my god, that Grim Reaper is just constantly missing Rain. And I'm able to con infinite combo this sword. Man, these guys are not very good at fighting. I think it was it's, it's probably wise to keep our, uh, our unison attack for the actual fight ahead. Which I'm sure that's gonna be a huge one. Nah, failed at making risotto. But you leveled up, so... You know, ooh, a memory gem. You win some, you lose some, Lloyd. It's okay. It's okay. Don't you worry about nothing. You're gonna be all right. Unlike, I'm very worried about uh, Colette after this last seal. What's gonna happen? Do you think? What she? What does she lose next? Like, she's got better hearing, sure, but she's lost her smell, her touch, and her uh, taste, right? So is she gonna turn blind or deaf at some point? And will that negatively impact things? Armatelm. Oh, that's for Lloyd, right? He hasn't already got one. Ooh, he hasn't. Sure, let's take that. Is this a block puzzle? I spy. There's sort of an arrow on the front here. Let's maybe it's not much of a puzzle. <laughs> Just sort of a locking mechanism. Let's try that. That didn't actually appear to do anything. Uh, can we burn this stuff off? We sure can. Ah! Oh, I see. There's light on it, so it's gonna be able to reflect it. Uh, do the other ones have curtain on it? Curtains on it? No. This is some kind of hmm. Oh, can I rotate this somehow? I assume it's gonna reflect the light into some angle. Oh, just left and right. Okay, cool. So if I put it here, it surely is going to open that casket and the door. Oh, I don't understand what that is. <laughs> nice! Man, all the angels around here, it's actually a little creepy. What is this, exactly? Uh, huh. Or maybe that's just the lock mechanism for this door over here. You gotta wonder what this tile is about, then. I guess it's not for us to know. Onward! We got more block puzzles. It's another oracle stone. What is this? What? Ah, Lloyd! This machine is amazing! Lloyd, can you see me? Wow! <laughs> this machine is cool! Hey there! I can see you too! Lloyd, the door on the other side opened. Is it alright if we go in? The door opened. I see. Go on in. Let's meet up somewhere before we release the seal. Okay, cool. So they're gonna be able to... Oh, that's what this other door is about. Okay, well, now that I'm back here as Genus and Co., let's actually have a look around all, all this stuff here. Oh, there's gonna be books I can read, aren't there? Uh, there's a book titled The Tree at Tragedy. Would you like to read it? Sure. Uh, Nor the Chosen at the time... The Chosen at the time arrived at Nefreet's temple that was located in the center of Old Triet in order to perform the ritual of regeneration. One of the priests became violent during the ritual and the Crucius unleashed the wrath of God. This is the beginning of what became known as Nefreet's Hellfire. Sounds cheery. And are they all different? I expect. Prosperity of the Balakrif Dynasty. 
The first rule of the Battlecraft Dynasty was uh, Empress Aisha the Eighth. Oh, interesting. There was an Aisha at um, Asgard, wasn't there? Who was meant to be offered up as a sacrifice. I guess that was maybe why. Not only was she intelligent, but she was said to be very beautiful. Her name is still very common today due to the prosperity during her reign. Right. Yes, we. D I, I detected that. Yeah. There are some difficult-looking books here that I can't read. We'll need rain. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate, but at least we know now. There's a book titled The Ultimate Recipe. Would you like to read it? Yes. The legendary ultimate recipe is kept safe by the Wonder Chef family. It is said that mere words cannot describe its taste and will bring a smile to anyone. The Dark Chef Alliance is also after the recipe and the bloody kitchen battle wages on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse- the dark- the dark- what? There's a book titled The Life of a Priest. I guess this is the comedy section on this side of the wall. When you join the Church of Martell, you must journey to Asalia, known as the Village of Oracles. You will then train at the Martell Temple, located north of the village, for one year. This training is said to be extremely taxing and take and more than half give up every year. Oh, okay. Le maybe a little less comedy than one would think. Ah, uh, another thing of a similar design here. Although, again, there's a little bit at the side here. Either way, let's get this light going in here. Ah, so bright. Why do I have to stare at it the whole time? Okay, uh... So there's a door there, but is there... Okay, and this one only reflects, I guess, then this just opens the door like this. Okay, so this does just open the door, so I don't actually know what hitting that weird ball thing in the other room as Lloyd did. But who cares, I guess? Oh, hey! Go on! Go on! <laughs> We're down here! Okay, I guess she's just ignoring us. Fine. I deserve that. Oh, hey, an open save point. Memory gem, who? Ooh, chests. There's one of these a, a bad... A nice gem level two, sweet. Moon robe. This has got to be a bad one, hasn't it? No, Lunar Guard. Moon Robe and Lunar Guard. Robes are, are tend to be... That's a, a rain type thing, isn't it? Oh, and also you. Right, okay. Oh, no, wait. Hang on, what? Moon Robe. Is it just not... Maybe it's just only for rain, then, and Sheena can't use it. Huh. That's cool, anyways. And the guard is for me, though, so let's put that... Oh, sorry, I'm uh, Colette. I meant... And she's not in here, so... When we swap to her, she'll be able to pick up this thing that uh, Gina's picked up. Whoa, it looks so cool! I'm recreated from Lunar Magic. Nice, and it gives you a bunch of luck, too. Another EX2 gem. EX gem level 2, whatever. Uh, these people have all got one. I don't think all, all of our people do, though, so we should check out that. You don't have any merging ones. I get... Actually, probably Magical and Spirit would do something, right? If I swap to that, is that a thing? Oh, really not? Huh. His personal increases effects of cooking, that's cool. Ooh, Guard Plus. Those are actually also awesome. Just trying to see if there's one... Uh, some kind of mixture we can have here, but better not mess with that too much. Actually... You know what, I'm gonna give the X-Gem to you because I want, uh, Guard Plus, that looks cool. And I might want this if I'm in a really bad situation. It's only 10 for now, so it's not a big deal, I guess, but... Right, so there's obviously something going on here. We gotta find a light source before we move around any of the blocks, I think, because then we don't actually know what it's for. There we go! Or not. There we go! <laughs> okay, so what is this? This- oh, I see. It, it wasn't an arrow I saw before, it was- it was like a- an angled mirror. Okay, so this one angles it down to left or- or left to down. So initially we're gonna want to put this one. Uh, okay, okay, so these must be some kind of switches and we have to hit all three. Okay, and what is this one? This is- oh, a two-way reflector. Okay, I see. But only if you reflect it from the top. Ah, but- okay, no, I see. So this one- but this is also one of them that does- so if it's gonna do two ways, then we surely want to have this one- shine up through that other one down there, and then these two cooperate to get it into this one so it hits these two. Alright, so let's get that going. So this one, since it reflects from right to down, we're gonna need to have it uh, above our final one here. But we still want it to be past this so that the light- well, I guess it doesn't really matter. No, it does matter because it'll stop the light. So it needs to be past this so that it- it does actually illuminate this one. And now we just need to get the last one here, which is this one, which we just put on the other side of the, the switch, basically. There's a memory gem pad up there on the right, um... So once we swap back to Colette, I suppose we could use one on that. Or we could just be sure to save before we do anything with this. Actually, let me just save before I it, put the last block in place in case that immediately does something. Oh, is this where we just came from? Or is this something else entirely? Oh, no, this is different. What is this? Stinger ring! Oh, that's for... we already have found one of those, right? Or not? What is a stinger ring? Oh, it's for Colette! Wicked. What is all this about? I, I, I do want to finish that block puzzle there, because I'm pretty sure it's important, but I just want to check if there's other good loot around here. Oh, weird. Okay, this is- no, then okay, we gotta do the, the light puzzle first, probably, and then we leave this way. I just don't want to miss out on any cool loot, if there's any here. This probably does something like makes a bridge up uh, at the top here for Colette and the others to get across. Somehow. Right, this is where we came from down here. Okay, uh, sorry, let me put the last block into place here. Catch junk. Yes, alright. Makes a, a holy, very unstable looking bridge. So I wouldn't want to walk on that. It would look like you just burn your feet off or something. Oh, weird, but it doesn't make one down here. Huh. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can rotate by pressing the bumpers. <laughs> All right, cool. So I guess we're just going to head on. Oh, maybe that's how we, uh... 
Genus and Co. link up. Wait, what? Is the, did the bridge disappear? Or am I dumb? Oh, okay, the bridge is up there, I see. I guess both can be true. The bridge can disappear and I can also be dumb. I'm gonna try and avoid fights too hard here because I'm not as used to playing as Sheena and Kratos. Well, here we go, everybody. Oh my God, death teddy bear, death teddy bear. Ooh, you know what I want? I want, I want, I want, I want ice storm or whatever it's called, ice tornado. Yeah, Aha. gotcha. I'm casting uh, it on the Grim Reaper if I can manage it. No mind. Here we go, I got it. Oh, wicked. Yeah, don't you try and hit me. I got a, I got a, I got a children's toy, all right. You don't understand my powers. You never could. That's right. Get beat down. This teddy bear needs to stop, honestly. Eh, stop sitting down like that. You're so creepy. Ah, its head springs off. No, get away. Ah, I'm too old for your toys. I'm like 12 or however. I'll make some risotto now. Oh, right on this team. What? Uh, oh yeah. Genius can make risotto. That's a cool thing. So looks like we're both making our way up the tower somehow. Both parties, that is. Eh. Wow, I just completely missed. Whoa, how did you get over there? Yeah. Yeah. At least because it's a flying one, it needs to. Wow, we're both bad at hitting each other. Because it's a flying one, it needs to take time to stand up before uh, I can, it can attack us again, so I can just infinite combo it like this. <laughs> ah! I failed to make a risotto. Man, risotto is apparently really hard to make. Even Genius couldn't do it. That's like the first time Genius has ever done anything wrong, ever. <laughs> At least when it comes to, cook to cooking. When it comes to human decency and politeness, he <laughs> sometimes slips up now and then. Yeah, well, uh, I wasn't expecting that to be right there, was I? I better stand back and cast a few spells here, because there are more of us here. Ah, it's coming right for me! Thanks, Carlos. Nice combo there, buddy. Please let me do this! Ice Tornado! Nice. It's a thousand damage there. That's uh, pretty sweet. How much mana is it? 30. Ah, I see. <laughs> it looks really cool, though. Ooh, I definitely want that to be one of my... Uh, Union attack ones, actually, so it should be on my my thing. I'll swap it out for spread. I guess I'll put splash there. I should also swap Windblade out for the better one, Air Thrust, even though that's a lot of mana. I don't really have any low mana moves right now, do I? No, they're all extremely high mana. But that only is for when I'm playing as him, so which is not going to be often. Ow! Oh, it's yeah, I'm too short. You can't hit me, can you? <laughs> Ow! I lied. We got the Sheena taking the hurt to this thing. Ah, oh, man, I'm, even though it can't hit me, I can't really hit it either unless I jump either. There we go. Made good risotto. Nicely done, Sheena. Left level up. I didn't mean to leave the same door I came in and turned. Oh, God damn it. Not nearly as much damage as Ice Storm. But why would I do any of it anyways when I can just beat the hell out of this thing with my little star? My Nova star or whatever it's called. Falling star. Oh no, Nova's a different thing entirely. Oh, that's the first one, I guess. Oh, his are all colored so cutely. I love it. Get out of here with that. My risotto. I almost left through the door again. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully not a murder chest. Oh my god, all the X-Gems in this place. An iron mail. Akardo's gonna put that, can't he? Oh yes, and it's better than he, what he has. Oh wait, save it for Lloyd then. Because he dies a lot more. That's right, teddy bear. You messed up big time this time. Bread activates pretty quickly though, so it's among my faster moves. Yeah! And still it's pretty damagey. Not as much as Ice Storm, but it's also not as much mana as Ice Storm, so that's good. That's it? I was just getting started. You know how I feel about when they say that stuff. All right, well, we've got one bridge here anyways. I don't really understand what the purpose of this other one would be unless there's another platform here. Oh, I see, this is some kind of strange device. There are weird machines around here too. Let's stay standing on that round pedestal. Well, that one I thought you were talking about the one that was glowing purple behind you. Ah! Whoa, something appeared again. Can you hear me? We made it to the inner area. Let's meet up before going in further. Come here. Okay. Oh, I guess the purple thing is what, um. Oh, that bridge just sort of turned on, cool. That's nice. Out of my way. Ah, uh, now I understand what all the bridges are for. Okay, okay. Hey, Genus! Try standing on that pedestal. If it's the same as the entrance, then the next path should open. Does that mean we're gonna have to leave two people behind? It might. It might. We could just put some heavy rocks there, maybe. <laughs> that looks good. Oh, I see. We don't have to leave anyone on that one. That's fortunate. All right, well, now that we have access to full, the full thing, I guess we may as well run back to the save point. And let's give Lloyd that, uh, iron mail. And Colette, that ooh, is is the stinger ring better? Much better! Holy crap! And the new guard, ooh wee, gives her the best attack power of the party, which is what I've been sort of shooting for, given that uh, she's who I play as. These these things look pretty cool as weapons too. Not as cool as the last one we had, but still pretty cool. All all of her weapons look pretty cool actually. I made risotto. That's not what I wanted to do. Given all the talk they've had about uh, how this was a, a link to the other world, I have a bad feeling that we're gonna get to the top of this tower and just immediately get transported to another world, and uh, that will be. 
you know, potentially a bit of a setback. But I guess the only way to know is to go up there for, for real here. Nom 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 sandwich, nom 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 nom. Oh my god, Sheena runs so fast. <laughs> I like it in Zillia where you can, it's, it, your running speed is attributed to a stat, so you can make everyone fast as all hell if you focus them in that stat. Sandwich, max sandwich. Cabbage rolls. I could go for a cabbage roll right now, that sounds delicious. Damn it. <laughs> I've run into every single enemy on the stairs. For this next boss, I, I think I probably want, I, I still want Sheena, because she's, I, I want to get a hold of what she, how she fights, but I also think I want a healer, probably. So I'm, I'm swapping Genus out for Rain for this next fight, I think. I assume there's gonna be one big fight at the top of the tower. So without further ado, let's get our butts up there. Watch it just be like three more uh, rooms of puzzles and I'm an idiot. Oh no, this sounds like we're maybe at the top already. Here we are, everybody. Hmm. Man, didn't think the tower would be, I guess we did run up a number of flights of stairs and then teleport a few times. Oh man, I'm tired. That's because you're always overexcited in the beginning. Yeah. It's mana. Powerful mana's coming out. Oh boy, this is stuff again. All right, well, what have we lost one of these? Never, I say. I actually can't remember if we lost one of these before. Hopefully never, and hopefully let's keep that pattern going. So this is going to be one of light, is it? Eubaris. Wicked. It looks so cool. Let's magic lens it up. See what we're up against here. Uh, It's weak to... Is it, did I read that right? It's, leak, it's weak to lightning, fire, and ice? Or was it the other way around? It's, it's strong against those. Ow! Oh man, lots of damage. Uh, let me get an, a union attack going here. Um, oh right, I didn't bring uh, Genus. I was like, which one's uh, Icicle Storm? Power Hammer! Could have probably chosen something cooler, but I didn't. Uh, I'm I'm feeling tired here. Thank you. Ow! I just shouldn't have run up right after she said she was gonna heal me. Let me just throw my shotgun from over here, please. No, don't come over here! Oh god! Get away from me! Power Hammer! <laughs> I think, oh god, it has a whole ghosty thing that comes after you. That's not awesome. Guys, if someone could combo with me so that I don't die here. That would be great, thanks. Oh, nurse is good timing. Keep this combo going so that nurse can save me. There we go. I think bringing Sheena and Lloyd was the good uh, call there. Ooh, damage guarded, perfect. I'm, get, I'm starting to get the hang of using that. Drain HP, what? Ah! That was that what Sheena did? All right, we're getting, we're taking the hurt to this thing, although we should start using some items and stuff so far. Uh, something time time tune, because we're all running out of mana. Lloyd, especially. Oh my god, just roaring across the battlefield. I'm also gonna use some on uh, range that she can keep doing. That. If she keep, feels comfortable, keep, keep healing. Ah, don't go over me! Oh man, I can't even dodge it with that backdash from there. Huge range. This combo keeps keep, keep going. Yeah! Thanks, Sheena. As I was saying, I think Sheena was the, a good choice to bring, because her and Lloyd are both very fast and able to carry on big combos, which gives me time to... Ooh, I got moonbeamed! Actually, it would be cool, Rain, if you used orange gels on me and Lloyd as well, because we keep running out of mana, and it takes a long time to build it up with melee attacks. Why do I always attack them right when they get up? All right, I damage guarded it when I didn't really need to. Oh, I thought maybe I could interrupt it from that if I was quick enough. Owie. Another unit attack charged up. I'll put it into a combo. Oh, thank you for burying me right before that happened. I'm not sure how much it helped, actually, because I guess it's a magic thing. All right. We'll get into a combo first so I can be sure to actually hit. Really? That didn't count? Ah! Maybe I should have done it in a combo. Man, the, th the range on that is just so puny sometimes. All right, we're able to keep this combo going. If the thing isn't isn't infallible in its uh, ability to avoid uh, being stunned. Oh, I'm out of mana for the damage guard. Let me just get on the other side of it so it doesn't laser me. Sorry, Rain. Bear ball! We're doing great, guys. Everyone just stay calm. It seems to be out of mana or something, is it? No, it isn't. It's just not using as many moves that now for some reason. Power hammer! Now, yeah! Got it. That was easy. Oof, I somehow had a premonition that that move would do it. I don't know why I'd say it was easy, Colette. We only got 1.1 grade for it, but considered, compared to how m most of our bosses go, that was pretty good. <laughs> Let's have some cabbage rolls on the top of this tower after that. <laughs> just imagine just sitting on the edge of a tower, legs dangling off the side, eating your cabbage rolls. No, I guess something bad's gonna happen before we have a chance to relax with our cabbage rolls, isn't it? Just let me relax with my cabbage roll, damn it! Ethereal forces of whatever. Ah, this is the summon spirit, maybe. Hello! I'd like to uh, open the seal, please. Chosen of regeneration, you have done well in reaching this far. Now offer your prayers at the altar. Yes. I wonder what sense I'll lose this time. <laughs> Maybe just all my entire sense of humanity. Oh, Goddess Martell, great protector and nurturer of the earth, grant me thy strength. I'm getting tired of saying that. Wings! <laughs> all right, 
Time to fly up into the sky and receive... Is this the last seal? I guess we don't know. But it sort of feels like it ought to be. With the Tower of Mana and all, but we were never told exactly how many there are. Huh? What happened? Or what isn't happening, respectively? Uh oh I don't like the feel of this. The controller be very rumbly right about now. Oh, hello! You're actually gonna talk to me this time. That's new. I've never talked to a summon spirit before. Hi, this is awkward. Um, my name's Colette. Where is Asuka? Whoa, we talked! <laughs> I know. Without Asuka, I cannot do anything. I cannot form a pact or a vow. Please, find Asuka in order to restore my power. I have no idea who you're talking about. Who dat? Wait, but can you give me a physical description? Are they shorter than a bread box or taller than a... Okay. That would look to be a no on the getting a description. Well, I guess losing all sensation in my eyes has to wait. Remio, is this you? Do you care to explain what all this nonsense is? Or is this me getting another angel power? Shiny. Big shiny. Hey, Remio. Remio, what was that nonsense? Your journey has been long. You have done well to reach this far, Colette, the Chosen One. Thank you, Lord Remiel. It didn't actually work. Let us grant you our blessing. Thank you. But, but they said that wouldn't... Okay, I guess you're granting me your blessing then. You have taken another step closer to becoming an angel. Yet you seem anxious. Uh, do I? Do I? I can't taste pizza anymore and you ask me if I seem anxious. Uh, no, I'm very happy. Hmm? Now, Chosen One, your journey is finally drawing to a close. It is time for you to rejoice. The path to the Tower of Salvation is open. That's the one in the middle. Head to the Tower of Salvation and offer your prayers of regeneration. Then you will be able to climb the stairway of heaven. The Tower of Salvation? The world regeneration is finally going to take place. Is regeneration really going to happen? I shall do as you instruct, Lord Remiel. Hmm. How climactic seeming. So was the angel power I just got what will help us um, prevent them people from dying too hard, like Clara and Pietro and them? I shall await you at the final seal, Colette, my daughter. There, you will become an angel like me. All the sketchy vibes I get from this one. The end is finally in sight. Let's head to the Tower of Salvation. Colette, are you sure? Yes. I'm fine. Damn it. Colette learned sacrifice. <laughs> I think she learned how to do that a long time ago when she started losing her hands and she was like, nope, I'll take on this duty for the world, but I understand it's an actual like spell or whatever called sacrifice. Whoa, what's all the writing on the ground here? Huh. What do you want to bet there's a treasure chest right behind this thing? No dice. It was worth looking though. Wow, I can see my house that I'm banished from from here. Or I guess we don't really know that Genus and Rain lived in Isilia. She teaches there and he goes to school there. I, do, I guess that we don't actually really know where, where they lived. Uh, so I guess we're gonna head back down now. Cool. Whoa, oh, dear Amy. Uh, but how are we gonna get out? Is the door... Oh no, that's right. The the door, the, the original door um, that Genus and Co came through was open now, so... Whoops. I wonder why they forced Lloyd and Colette to go together when there wasn't actually even a, a, a serious story event there. Although I guess as far as they knew, there could have been something important happen. For all they knew that they were the only ones who were going to be at the top, so I guess Lloyd wanted to be there for that. Cabbage roll! That's the best kind of plane maneuver as a cabbage roll. So I never figured out really what these squares are for. Maybe they're just on the edge of all of these block puzzle things. Maybe somehow if the, you smash the glass thing, it would come back there. All right, sweet. So to the entrance, to the entrance, and we can have Rain look at that uh, strange book that Genus couldn't interpret. I really should have looked at it all f at, at first, though. I'll give even get a chance, I'm not sure. What do you think about this, Rain? Boltzmann's book was found. Oh, great. Okay, that's the one. Never mind. I thought perhaps Boltzmann's technique would somehow be related to sacrifice. Now we can save Pietro. No, it will be difficult for me to use this book with my healing arts. If we at least had some sort of tool to amplify the body's life force. What sort of thing do you need? Like an X-Fear or whatever? Hmm. The legendary horn of the unicorn, or monoleaf herb, or the elven medicine herb. Sorry, the monoleaf herb is the metal of an embassy herb. That's not a third option. <laughs> Where are we gonna find something like that? Uh, well, let's take it with us for now. Yes. Why would, we, why would you tell us only now that we need that? I was. We promised them we would we would just come right back once we came to the tower. Whoa, that's a badass looking key. Key used to open the Tower of Mana, made with uh, metal refined by magic technology. And where was the thing we just got? Boltzmann's book? Record of all Boltzmann's healing arts. Curious. Oh yeah, by the way, Rain, is this robe for you? Ooh, so it is. One more defense. Okay, so it's not, like, the coolest thing. I mean, it looks cooler. Not that you can actually see it on a map screen. 
Man, did we get a lot of money for that or what? I could have sworn we were like, like a thousand at the beginning of this episode. I guess as we go on in the, the, the world, there's gonna be more money. Whoa, the music started and then stopped very quickly. Colette? Professor Sage, it's Colette's angel toxicosis. She didn't even release the seal though. Or I guess she did, she just didn't get any powers from it from the, from Loon, uh. I see. Let's rest here for today. Oh, hell. Are you okay? That... You're like freaking out. Are you, what are you losing this time? What's wrong, Colette? I would assume she's lost her voice. No. That's not a sense, that's against the rules. What? Oh, that's horrible. Well, I guess that's what sign language is for. And writing. Everyone, I have something to say. Sure. Huh? Is it something that will make us feel better? Because honestly, I could use that. I want to explain to everyone why I was trying to assassinate the Chosen. Okay, I guess that, that is a fair time now that you see how much she's sacrificing you're like okay i i want to explain myself i know that she's awesome all right we're listening tell us about your homeland a land that doesn't exist in this world you knew no but you said it yourself that silverant will be saved which implies the existence of another world yes that must mean you aren't from silverant yeah you know it's really a shame that your intellect's being wasted here right. <laughs> damn the homeland is not here not in Silveron. I can't tell if that's a compliment or not. It's saying that someone's intellect is being wasted on saving the entire world. What does that mean? My world is called Tetheala. Ah, well, we read about this. <laughs> Strange that this, the moon is in this shot very prominently. Tetheala? You mean the moon? No, that's just the... You yourself said that was just a fairy tale, genius. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> My world isn't on the moon. Even I really don't understand the specifics. But there's another world that lies entwined with Silverant. As shadow is to light, that's Tetheala, my world. Although I assume, <laughs> over on your place, you say that the same thing about Silverant. Two entwined worlds? The two worlds lie directly adjacent to each other. They just can't see one another. Our scholars say they exist on shifted dimensions. Fun. Anyway, the two worlds can't see or touch each other. But they do, in fact, exist next to and affect each other. So you want to explain to us how you got here, then? <laughs> what do you mean, affect each other? They vie for the supply of mana. When one world weakens, the mana from that world flows to the other. As a result, one world is always flourishing, and the other waning. Sort of like an hourglass. And I'm going to take a wild guess here that currently, us here in Silverant are the ones, quote, flourishing, unquote, because you're, uh, that's why you're here. Wait. So right now, Silverant is... Yeah. Silverant's mana is flowing to Tetheala. Therefore, Silverant is in decline. I was 100% wrong. So then why are you here? Without mana, crops won't grow and magic becomes unusable. If there's no mana, the summoned spirits that protect the world alongside the goddess Martell can't survive in Silverant either. As a result, the world slips even further down the path of destruction. Hmm. Then the Chosen's world regeneration is actually the process of reversing the mana flow? Oh, so you also must be doing that over on your side every now and then. So you were trying to kill her so that, so that Silverant would hopefully just kind of die off, and then you would have all the mana for yourself, basically? Exactly. When the Chosen breaks a seal, the mana flow reverses, and the summon spirit that governs the seal awakens. I was sent to prevent the world regeneration from happening. I broke through the supposedly impassable dimensional fissure for the sake of protecting Tetheala. Right. In other words, to assure the decline and destruction of Silverant? Yes. Ah! Oh, I thought that Colette was just going to squeak of regeneration something. <laughs> is also an attempt to destroy Tetheala. We're both doing the same thing. Yes, okay. I begin to understand it's this. It's hard for me to believe all of this. I'm the proof. I possess summoning arts that have been lost from this world. Please don't look at me like that, Colette. <laughs> I know that wasn't your intention. I don't know what I should do either. I came here to protect Tetheala, but this world is impoverished and everyone is suffering. Yeah, even at the high point of mana, we're not, uh, this, this place ain't doing great. But if I allow the world regeneration to occur, then Tetheala will become just like this. But right now you're helping us, right? Yes, but that doesn't mean I can just abandon Tetheala. I, I don't know what to do. That's a good point. Uh, is there no way we could just, like, keep three seals apiece and then the mana flow is equal? <laughs> I guess it doesn't work like that. It's all or nothing. 
I suppose. Isn't there any other way? A way for Silveron, Tetheala, and Colette to all be happy? I want to know too. <laughs> I just think Colette is just the third entity there. Exists in the real world? Yeah, well, that's why she's panicking, Rain. Come on, <laughs> have a heart here. <laughs> First thing we can do right now is to save Silveron from its current crisis. I, are you well? But according to Sheena, that may not be the best thing, right? What if we don't regenerate the world and just defeat the Desians? What if we find a way to just move everyone to one world? <laughs> Although we succeeded in destroying a ranch, we cannot possibly eliminate all the Desians. You've destroyed a few ranches there, Kratos. Give us a little credit. Mana will eventually be exhausted. Is mana really that important? I suppose only magic users and scholars worry about it. But mana is even more important to life than water. Well, okay, that's a little strong now. <laughs> well, I guess mana can make water, so maybe Without you're right. It, the land will die. Mana is the source material which composes everything. At least that's what I've been taught. Unfortunately, the giant tree of ever-flowing mana in fairy tales doesn't exist in the real world. So where does the mana come from initially, then? We live by chipping away at the limited amount of available mana. Oh, ouch. Okay, I see. <laughs> Why do you think the ancient magi technology was lost? Well, I don't know. Because mana disappeared from the world. Correct. Magi technology consumes large ah, amounts of mana. Ah, it was, it was not lost, but discontinued. If things continue the way they are now, Silveront will eventually lose its mana, just as it lost its Magi technology, and be destroyed. And you're saying even if that happens, Tethal will also suffer the same fate eventually. Yes, Colette? R-E-M-I? Oh, she's writing on his hand. Oh, that's what that's about in the, in the opening sequence. Ah, you're trying to spell something, right? Remiel, I assume. I'll... Try asking Remiel if there. Jeez, you're writing fast! Holy crap! And Lloyd's able to read it to well. Save the two worlds. If it doesn't work out, I may have to kill you after all. All right. Sheena. Well, we're all uh, you're wildly outnumbered here, buddy. But but fair enough. I understand that is your was your original purpose coming here and all. When that time. Comes. Okay, this is a more realistic I speed for someone writing on your hand. You were reading it really fast a second ago there, Lloyd. Back because I love Silverant too. I understand. You intend to become an angel no matter what. Yeah, she's you? gone this far and, and sacrificed so much for it already. It would just be not right to all the people who've died and all to just keel over and be like, well, fine, just to avoid conflict. <laughs> I'll, I'll just let this whole world die. All right, great. Back to the cheery music. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So awesome, in fact, that we're going to end this episode right the heck here. Well, splendid. So we didn't actually get transported over to the other world from uh, from the Tower of Mana, as I thought we might, because that was, as said in one of those legends. And now before we can go to the Tower of Salvation, we got to go find a unicorn horn and or a mana herb. And I don't know exactly where we would do such things. Although they sort of seemed like, I guess, just don't worry about it for now. But I kind of worry about it, because if we're going to the Tower of Salvation, then we're not going to have much time to <laughs> do all the save Pietro and Clara. And Clara's being chased by people who want her dead. That is really like a, a bit of a trolley problem, though, isn't it? But it's like a trolley problem that's also on a scale. <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's like. Yeah, even if even if the two worlds could had a reliable way of communicating and understanding that this is, was 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 going to happen, would it be possible for you to just uproot everything and move to one world? Even though we, we sort of make it seem like transporting between the worlds is difficult, although Sheena was able to manage the task, so presumably it could be done. But it also sort of feels like that probably doesn't solve the problem, right? They're sort of saying even if one world falls into de decline, there's still a limited amount of mana to go around. Easy answers won't be found here, folks. It seems. <laughs> but I guess that's 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 an interesting question. If if in theory there were two worlds and your current understanding of it was that one had to die and so that the other one could flourish or they would both have to be sort of suffering forever and you were going to save one world how could you put value on that world how could you measure the two assuming you were able to get all the people over to one world i guess 
Wh which world do you leave behind? I mean, I guess it would just be like a geographical thing of which one is like more hospitable, but it's such a strange dilemma to have. Well, I'm glad that Sheena's honest uh, in, in her principles here. I mean, she's here to do a job and, and save hundreds of thousands of millions of billions of people. <laughs> Maybe not that many, but a lot of people. I pray we, that the day does not come where we have to fight her again, because honestly, she hits kind of hard. She hits 384 hard, in fact. Oh, do I have a title for you? No. An assassin who kills in the darkness of the twilight with shadows of sorrow in her eyes. Yeah, she looks tr truly sad right now. Oh my god, poor Lloyd's intelligence is 85 compared to everyone else's in the hundreds. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that, so I guess that question's been asked. How do you put value on a world of all things? I guess you could also like scale that down and be, and to the to, like, size of a country, which is just a, a, such a bleak thought that it's not even probably not worth the, the, the painful line of thinking it would induce. And that's that anyways. Well, well uh, so next time we're either going to be heading to, right to the Tower of Salvation and just saying, well, I guess we'll find a unicorn horn later, or we're going to be looking for that stuff first. I'm not actually sure. So our last seal's in the Tower of Salvation. We haven't fought any unicorns, have we? <laughs> not as far as I can tell. <laughs> Next episode is gonna be some more Fireman Three Houses, so with that information, I suppose we'll be leaving things off with Symphonia here. Oh, but things getting bleak. Poor Colette. Does that mean she's not gonna be able to speak in battles either? I, I so miss, I'm gonna so miss having her scream, I'm mad now, when she goes into Overlimit. Among all the other kind and sweet things she has to say, I'm going to miss them too. Man. <sighs> okay, well, with that, I'm gonna be out of here then, I suppose. Hopefully I'll see you around. Peace. I, I need, I, absolutely it is imperative that they get to their upper classes. And Momo is pretty far away from that stuff. But we can bring her bow up a little bit like this way. And set it, uh, I suppose we'll just bring around your, your various skills. I gave armor for no reason. It doesn't actually really matter what I give you because we're benching you anyways. So yeah, as for Ash, uh, we could really use your reason. Music.